Good afternoon. Uh, I am continuing today in my uh, lecture the solution of the problems of the other types. In my previous class, just to remind, uh, give the reminder, I was discussing about the uh, calculation of uh, coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. Today, I shall discuss the another variety of the problems which are quite related in terms of the symbols like uh, direction cosines L m n, direction ratios a comma b comma c and the intersection between the lines and the calculation of the angles. Next is uh, the projection formula and regarding the final applications on uh, for calculation of uh, centroid of the triangle and centroid of the tetrahedron. These are the today's uh, discussions which I am going to carry out. Among that, the next uh, problem, uh, the perimeter or the uh, direction cosines L m n are included in the form of relations. Then the next problem will be a condition for perpendicular, condition for parallel. These are the uh, words which we have to derive. Uh, all these things today I shall discuss. That is, uh, uh, whenever the constants are followed in the equations and direction cosines are involved in the form of uh, relations because numerical values are not given, but we have to define what are the values of uh, L m n in terms of the given constants. Then we have to derive according to the required form like uh, there, ex there exists an equivalence relation like uh, for example, this one L 1 L 2 divided by 1 by A is equal to M 1 M 2 divided by 1 by B is equal to N 1 N 2 divided by 1 by C is equal to K like that. So, some relation, some uh, relation of that type uh, we are going to derive and then finally, uh, the uh, condition to be proved sum of all those constants in the form of reciprocal values of the constants is equal to 0. And the next condition in that particular problem we may discuss, what is the condition to uh, say that lines are parallel. Lines are parallel we have to derive what is the behavior of the discri discriminant. In that discriminant should be uh, according to the quadratic equation properties what we have to claim when two lines are parallel. Uh, there are two conditions one is uh, for the uh, discussion of the perpendicular and the other one is for parallel. We have to uh, verify how these constants will behave that is in one of the problems. And the next problem may be angle between two lines using the basic formula that is cos theta is equal to L 1 L 2 plus M 1 M 2 plus N 1 N 2. And the next uh, another problem I may discuss like uh, uh, direction cosines means in terms of the proportional direction cosines they are given we take those values as A B C. Then uh, we have to solve for actual DCs that is uh, uh, when the proportional DCs are given, we have to calculate the actual DCs for the different condition again for perpendicular. Then the projection formula I had explained, then the yesterday this one I had covered and now another uh, a set of problems which we have to discuss as co uh, coordinates in terms of uh, uh, the lines which are um, uh, having, uh, which are becoming like uh, diagonals inside the cube what are the uh, corresponding uh, relations we are going to derive just like cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma plus cos square delta is equal to some constant and we, if you express those functions in terms of the sine function then we will replace that cos square, cos square by means of uh, the first trigonometric relation that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, that we can replace cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta then sum of all the squares of uh, these cos trigonometric functions is equal to some constant we have to derive for some problem and sum of the squares of the trigno, uh, trigonometric functions of uh, uh, sin is equal to uh, another constant we have to derive. So, those two will be uh, today today's of uh, uh, important uh, discussions in my lecture. Let me start with uh, the problem, the continuation of the problems when direction cosines are included in the form of uh, the symbols uh, L m n uh, in the form of set of equations only. Uh, uh, because till the previous lecture we I, uh, we came across like L m n values were given in terms of numericals, uh, numbers uh, the values were given, but uh, here today uh, few problems like two three problems I will be discussing 
when those symbols L M N are included in the form of some relations, then we have to make use one relation in the other and vice versa. Then we have to calculate what are the values of L M N and according to the given uh, condition, that means condition mentioned in the statement of the problem that we have to prove. If they are perpendicular, what happens? If they are parallel, what happens? Like that. Let me start with the uh, next uh, problem. The problem is like this. <coughs> this is uh, the problem, but with uh, different numericals here one problem which I mentioned in the list of problems that is 3 L plus M plus 5 N is equal to 0, then 6 M N uh, minus 2 N L plus 5 L M is equal to 0 like that. But in general another problem I will give, I shall give so that uh, you can uh, make a reference that becomes the easier one when you compare with uh, the constants A, B, C. Suppose I start with uh, show that the pair of points sorry pair of lines whose direction cosines are given by the relations 2L minus M plus 2N equal to 0 and MN plus NL plus LN equal to 0 are perpendicular. The statement is show that the pair of lines whose DCs are given by show that the pair of lines whose DCs are given by uh, the relations in uh, where L M N are given in terms of the equations they are said to be perpendicular. From these two equations uh, no physical appearance like there are two lines are perpendicular, but still we have to prove theoretically on the board on the board without uh, showing any geometrical diagram, without showing any geometrical diagram, we must prove what is the condition when uh, direction cosines are given in the form of equations, when those two lines which are represented by means of these relations are said to be, are said to be perpendicular. If they are perpendicular already you know the condition cos theta is equal to cos 90 degree that is equal to 0, then sum of the product of the DCs. Uh, will be represented by like L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 is equal to cos 90 that is equal to 0 that we have to prove. For example, from this equation I collect uh, because there are two sets of direction cosines from the first relation. For example, if I represent this one as first and this is second from first I take this any one value there are three values uh, three symbols you have in the first equation L M N right then in those three symbols any one symbol you take and then express in terms of the other two uh, that too you can see the uh, you can see the advantage and if you select or if you choose or if you separate which symbol in the left side and which, which are the symbols to be sent to the right side so that you will get advantage in your calculation. If I take this one minus m uh, we, if I take that is equal to 2L plus 2n that is minus m I am sending to the other side from second then I will replace this m by this value therefore 2l plus 2n into n plus nl plus nl that means I am eliminating m. So, l into l into that is 2l plus it is 2n that is equal to 0 in this place. I am collecting the value of m from the first equation, I am substituting or I am eliminating m from the second equation by replacing this value that is in place of m that is 2L plus 2N plus of NL plus of L into in place of m as this value. Now, I will simplify this, I will get it as 2LN plus 2N square plus of n l plus of 2 l square plus of 2 l n equal to 0. Now, this equation contains second degree terms in the form of l and in the form of n. So, that uh, to compare with the quadratic equation because I am going to uh, simplify this in the form of quadratic equation then I shall discuss about the roots of the quadratic equation fine this is 2 n square is there, this is 2 l square is there. Any term you can put it as first term, 
and the other term simply will act as a constant. So that those two, there are n square and then l square, whichever term you can keep. Let me take this l in the successive order like l m n, okay. Then I will take this one as 2 l square in the first position, that is 2 l square and plus of l into this is 2 n plus n plus of 2 n and plus of 2 n square equal to 0, that is 2 l square plus of l into this becomes 5 times of n and plus of 2 n square equal to 0. Therefore, 2 l square plus 5 n l plus 2 n square equal to 0 is the standard equation which you can compare with your familiar quadratic equation. That is what is that quadratic equation? I call this one as which is quadratic in L, which is quadratic in L means immediately you can claim that, you can ask the question that why it should not be quadratic in L, that is also possible if you put this term in the first position and if you keep this term in the last position. Then in this case quadratic in L means I can call it as A x square plus B x plus C equal to 0. So, A stands for 2 x equal to L and B stands for 5 n and L is x and 2 n square together it will represent as the value of C. Therefore, I call this one as quadratic in L. If I write L square L and constant, had I written in the reverse order like 2 n square plus 5 n and this term as the last term, I would have represented that no uh, statement as which is quadratic in n not in terms of l. Now, when this is a quadratic equation and immediately next uh, what is our job? You have to calculate the roots of the quadratic equation. So, those roots are I, I must represent l is equal to the formula you know here for this x equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4 a c and whole divided by it is 2 a. Then what I will do here that is calculation for L. Therefore, L is equal to minus B. So, in this case A equal to 2 and B is equal to 5 n and C is equal to 2 n square. These are the values when you compare with quadratic equation. Therefore, I will substitute B is equal to 5 n means minus 5 n plus minus root of b square that is 25 n square minus 4 a c minus 4 into 2 4 a c into 2 it is n square and whole divided by whole divided by 2 into a 2 into 2 this one. Now, you have to simplify this this comes to be minus 5 n plus minus root of 25 n square minus 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. Therefore, 9 n square is the final simplification. This must be 4 in the denominator. This is for L. Then I will take the further uh, simplification. That must be L is equal to, you must represent two values according to quadratic equation. Quadratic means, what do you mean by quadratic? That quadratic is nothing but second degree equation. Uh, we call that cubic equation means third degree equation with highest degree as 3 cubic equation and this is second degree equation. Okay. L is equal to minus 5 n plus minus plus minus 3 n divided by 4 applying the square root sign for 9 n square then this is equal to minus 5 n by 4 plus 3 n by 4 and one more minus 5 n minus 3 n and divided by 4. We have two values from the quadratic equation. If you simplify 4 is the LCM and this becomes minus 2 n by 4 and if you take minus 8 n divided by 4 
and further simplification gives minus n by 2 and this is minus 2n. As this statement says, as this statement says, uh, the pair of lines that means show that the pair of uh, lines whose DCs are given by in terms of the equations. So, pair of lines means there must be two sets of each value of direction cosine like first value is L, second value is M and third value third value is N. Therefore, two sets of values means L comma M comma N. So, for each value now in the case 1, <coughs> case 1 when I, have when I have separated this value that is in terms of M, then I will substitute the value of L, I can collect the value of M because the reason is quite obvious. You have two equations and we are given three unknowns that is L, M, N. You cannot solve this three values separately. What you have to do is one unknown in terms of the other two you have to express. There is no other go. So, that either L in terms of the other values or M in terms of the other values or N in terms of the other values. That is what this job I am pr presently doing. That is L is equal to minus N by 2. That is I am taking the first calculation L is equal to minus N by 2. Then comes the calculation for M that is m is equal to 2 into minus n by 2 and plus of it is 2n. Therefore, 2 cancels this is n is there. For the corresponding value of this one l, l equal to minus n by 2 I got the value for m is equal to n. So, you need not to calculate uh, think of uh, n because n remains to be same n is equal to n only. Why? because because the, as, I, as I mentioned there are two equations and we have three unknowns L M N. What is the mathematical condition holds good when I have two equations with uh, three unknowns? That means when I have two equations with three unknowns means the condition basic required mathematical condition says that you must have equal number of equations with equal number of unknowns then only the uh, solution can be uh, separated thereby L is numerical value, M is numerical value and then N is numerical value. Here it is not the case you have to express one unknown in terms of the others. Therefore, I can get the values for the first case L is equal to N by minus N by 2, M equal to N and N is equal to N. Similarly, in another case I have to write uh, the substitution of L is equal to minus 2 L. So, case 2 let L is equal to minus 2 N. Then I can get M is equal to I must write minus 2 N means 2 into minus 2 N plus 2 N this is minus 4 N and plus of it is 2 N should be minus of 2 N. This is the second calculation for the second selection that means L is equal to minus 2 N and here also N remains to be same. Therefore, I can list out uh, two sets of uh, direction cosines respectively for the value of L is equal to minus N by 2 and for the value of L is equal to minus of 2 N. For example, if I start this one let two lines have DCs let two lines have DCs in one of the figures uh, in one of the calculations which I have mentioned like L1, M1, N1 in any problem any one of the previous problems you can refer like L1, M1, M1 N1 and then L2, M2, N2 are the two sets of direction cosines. Therefore, two lines have DCs as L1, M1, N1 which are equivalently this set of values will take the first one L1 means you substitute minus n by 2 and then m 1 you substitute that is n and n 1 is equal to n. Therefore, l and m are expressed in terms of n because I told you that the mathematical condition is not hold good equal number of equations with equal number of unknowns should be there then only we can solve the equations uh, perfectly. Then another set of uh, direction cosines that is l 2 m 2 n 2. Then these are equivalently first uh, next case of L is minus 2 n this one 
and calculated value of m is minus 2 n and third value remains to be same. Now, I shall come to the last conclusion of this problem solution. What is that? There are two straight lines having the DCs L1, M1, N1 and L2, M2, N2 when they, those two lines are perpendicular the angle between them is 90 degree. Okay. If that is the condition then what will be the formula uh, uh, derived as a cos theta formula what, what exactly it gives the value means cos 90 is equal to 0. Instead of proving cos 90 for example, uh, I have been uh, discussing like whenever I have two lines well, this these lines are perpendicular. So, to prove this one by showing graphically the it may it may be it may be rotating like this okay. exactly if it is set to be 90 degrees to prove graph uh, uh, instead of graphically to prove on the board you have to write some of the product of the direction cosines is equal to that is 0 that means L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 is equal to 0. So, to prove that one we, we have calculated the values LMN as <coughs> uh, direction cosines <coughs> of the two lines then uh, I claim the condition that when these lines are perpendicular then then cos the 90 degree means cos theta is equal to 0 is equal to L1 M1 plus uh, uh, I am sorry L1 L2 M1 M2 plus N1 N2. Now, you have to prove that you must get the value of 0 then only your claim is correct then I can get the simplification like this. minus n by 2 L 1 then L 2 minus 2 n right then plus of n into minus 2 n plus of n into n equal to 0. Let me check this must be 2 that is minus n square and this must be minus 2 n square minus 2 n square this must be plus and this is n square because minus into minus that should be there. So, finally, n square and then n square it is 2 n square minus 2 n square is equal to 0 then the condition holds good that means the simplification I am getting this one is 0. So, that this problem gives the conclusion that those two lines which are represented by means of direction cosines in the form of relations they have the angle as that is 90 degree so only uh, some of the product of the direction cosines you are getting the solution as 0. So, this is one situation I shall go to the next situation another uh, 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 important uh, situation where direction cosines will behave will behave for uh, projection formula. So, the use of projection formula here find the projection of the line joining line joining the points that is A uh, 1 minus 2 2 and B this one on a line which makes the angle 30 degree with A B uh, that is already uh, answer is given, but I will go for the another uh, problem that is next problem that is find the projection of the line joining the points A 1 2 3 and B minus 1 1 0 minus 1 comma 1 comma 0 on the line whose DCs are given by 2 3 minus 1. In this situation there is a line given and you have to find the projection already I told you that in my introduction class uh, and uh, the presentation of the formulas first set of formulas the projection is nothing but shade. For example, I am I am standing here my shade is uh, 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 easily traceable on the opposite uh, side of the wall that means projection is nothing but measuring in terms of the magnitude whatever the shade is there whatever the <coughs> straight line is there what that length is there its magnitude will be observed on the another line that is through geometrical ideas we have to find out. So, find the projection of the line uh, joining the points that means one line joining the points means A and then B A uh, coordinates 1 2 3 and B coordinates minus 1 1 and then 0 then on the line whose DCs are 2 3 1 on the line whose DCs are 2 3 1 means I can 
construct this as three dimensional Cartesian coordinate system in this that is x and then z and then y projection means it is shade this is in some direction like <coughs> then it is shade like p q the length of the straight line in space and a part of the straight line is represented by means of uh, uh, two points where the straight line passes through these two points that is 1 2 3 and then minus 1 1 comma 0 then its uh, shade will be observed we call it as a projection and this is p and q this line this line has the uh, dc's oh, those dc's are nothing but 2 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 they are nothing but l comma m comma n therefore the formula already you have the formula for finding the magnitude of this projection magnitude means uh, this much this much area is projected like this suppose the line is if it is parallel maximum uh, projection you will you will notice almost uh, it is very uh, very much equal to the length of this uh, uh, original straight line suppose i have like this uh, which is inclined towards some other direction then you can see the projection on the opposite wall opposite wall uh, will be different from the original length so this is one length and it may be like this this may be like this okay exactly you will find what is the uh, shade which gives on the opposite side of the wall then that is to be calculated by means of the magnitude again so here this is the shade and this is the original line fine what is the uh, mathematical formula we are going to apply here projection of the line a b on the line on the line is p q that is p q projection is equal to l into x 2 minus x 1 plus m into y 2 minus y 1 plus n into it is z 2 minus z 1. So, you are given all the values therefore, that is equal to 1 uh, that is 2 here and then 1 is for x 1 and x 2 is minus 1. So, that minus 1 minus 1 and plus of m that is plus 3 y 2 that is 1 minus 2 and minus 1 because n value is minus 1 and then z 2 that is 0 and minus 3 this is the calculation gives us the magnitude therefore minus 2 should be minus 4 and then minus 3 and then it is plus 3 therefore this cancels minus 4 projection is equal to minus 4 but projection means it is the magnitude always will be measured as a positive quantity therefore this minus sign we drop it should be 4 units in terms of the magnitude we call this is projection is equal to 4 units. The next uh, situation, the next uh, another uh, problem of the same type, I discuss for the projection, then I shall conclude about the projection, I will I shall go to the next discussion. Then here, there are 4 points given, 4 points means if there are four points given the points which are given like this if a 3 6 minus 1 b 6 2 5 c minus 5 minus 4 5 and d 1 minus 2 8 are the points or the points comma find the projection find the projection of a b on c d then <coughs> it is a clear information in the data 
in the earlier problem we had only two points and then uh, cosines were, were given in the statement itself. Now this is the opposite type of statement, direction cosines are not given but points are given. That means the given straight line is passing through two given points and the projection is also passing through two points. Therefore, their set of two points are given and the below one also set of two points are given but direction cosines you have to calculate by making use of that data for the projection which is passing through two given points fine. Now I consider this one projection is clearly they have mentioned in the problem this is A this is B it is the given line for example that is uh, 3 6 minus 1 and 6 2 5 then projection is if it is in some direction okay this is the point A and this is the point B. Now the projection means dropping perpendicular on another line then this may be the projection like C D they are given the points 1 minus 2 8 uh, no this should be minus 5 minus 4 and then 5 and 1 minus 2 8. What you have to calculate? direction cosines of that particular line. Then you have to calculate the uh, direction ratios in this case direction ratios first you have to calculate and then uh, projection you have to calculate that means direction ratios when you have from the given set of points then you can write the actual direction cosines. Therefore direction co ratios from the uh, line that is CD that means uh, next point minus of previous point DRs of C D or I can write the notation standard notations A B C are equivalent to that must be uh, 1 minus of minus 5 next is plus of not plus it is comma then minus 2 then minus of minus 4 this is another uh, coordinates and one more set of coordinates that is 8 minus 5 should be equivalent to this must be 6 and this must be uh, 2 and this must be 3 6 2 3 these are the values a b c we call them as direction ratios direction ratios are nothing but proportional direction cosines they are also representing the positive direction of a straight line in the uh, three dimensional Cartesian coordinate system therefore instead of alpha beta gamma we have the values like a b c therefore actual d c is because your formula says uh, in terms of LMN, but these are the values ABC. Actual D, DCs are that means A is equal to L is equal to A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. That gives 6 divided by square root of 6 square means 36 plus 4 and 3 square means plus of 9. This gives 6 divided by 36 uh, means uh, 4 that is 40. It is square root of 49. This gives 6 by 7. That is the value for the first calculation. And similarly, then m is equal to 2 divided by that is uh, 7 and n is equal to 3 divided by 7 respectively for ABC which are obtained as direction ratios for the line CD we have di a direction cosines as first number for L that is 6 by 7 second calculation is 2 by 7 and third one is 3 by 7. So we have direction cosines for this line as that is 6 by 7 then 2 by 7 and then 3 by 7 that means the direction of this line is represented by means of these direction cosines values as L, M, N. Okay, in which direction means uh, these are the numericals represent the positive direction of a line. Fine. Now the projection. Projection of AB on CD. Projection of the line on CD. That means given line on CD. This is the line above and this is the line below. That means its shade is is visible 
on the line at the bottom like so on this line. Now in which direction this line is moving means that we calculated as in terms of the direction cosines by finding that is direction ratios because set of two points are given you cannot calculate directly the direction cosines first you have to calculate direction ratios and then you have to convert those direction ratios in terms of direction cosines therefore uh, this these are the values then projection formula gives projection formula gives the calculation according to the formula what is that l into means 6 by 7 into x2 minus x1 should be 6 minus 3 and plus of it is 2 by 7 uh, should be 2 minus of 6 and 3 by 7 into that is 5 minus minus 1 therefore 6 minus 3 that is 18 by 7 and this is minus 4 means minus 8 by 7 and this is plus 6 6 3 is 18 and then 18 by 7 so should be 18 means that is 10 should be 28 by 7 that is the projection value means in terms of the magnitude 28 by 7 finally I can conclude that that is in terms of units so the, this these are two situations you can refer as the calculation of the projection of a line when the correct data is given correct data means according to the formula when correct data is not given you need to convert from the given uh, data whatever it is given like whether the points or uh, points with the direction cosines or points with the direction ratios then you need to convert to the final form to be substituted L into x2 minus x1 plus m into y2 minus y1 plus n into z2 minus z1. So the, that was the situation uh, which you had to calculate and uh, in another uh, situation that is you find the angle between the lines whose DCs are given like this this is another uh, situation find the angle between two lines whose DCs are given directly the numerical values they are given directly the numerical values are given then uh, discuss the behavior of the straight lines okay find the angle between the lines whose DCs are 1 minus 2 3 this is one set of DCs another set of DCs are it is 2 4 then 2 another set of DCs therefore in the solution directly we can take let L1 M1 N1 is equal to 1 comma minus 2 comma 3 and L2 M2 N2 is equal to it is 2 comma 4 comma 2 then find the angle between them is a direct formula you can apply what is that uh, uh, derivation that is cos theta is equal to L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 it should be uh, 1 into 2 right be, these are the direction cosines they are given or they are given like direction ratios then denominator product of the denominator would have come but here it is not so because direct, uh, direction cosines directly they are given so that you can uh, straightforward approach you can take then uh, 1 into 2 then minus 2 into 4 plus 3 into 2 this should be 2 minus 8 and plus 6 should be that is equal to 0. So that cos theta is equal to 0 means theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 cos inverse of 0 means in my previous class I had written the table from that table you can easily make out it should be 90 degree that is theta is equal to 90 degree what exactly so discuss the behavior of the straight lines what is the behavior when this is the angle you are getting cos theta is equal to 0 means those two lines are perpendicular to each other that means this angle is equal to 90 degree that is your conclusion then in the next uh, situation another uh, type of the problem where another uh, a few important problems are there those problems also we have to discuss now the next very important problem where uh, uh, more than one result also I am going to include in that problem this is the one
this is the one a line makes angles with the four diagonals of a cube show that sum of the squares sum of the squares of alpha beta gamma and delta I am sorry one term is missing here cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma plus cos square delta should have been there and here also sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma plus sin square delta should have been there that is equal to 8 by 3 and one more result is 4 by 3. This is uh, one among the important applications where you will find in the engineering problems like uh, uh, many of the engineering situations we are going to uh, 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 study as uh, in a different uh, titles. For example, problems in differential equations, problems in Fourier series, problems in uh, matrices, even problem, problem, problems in flow systems. Then in many situations you will have to convert the coordinate system from one uh, type to the other type. In such cases uh, the diagonals uh, will play the role because especially in the case of uh, uh, fluid flow as you have like uh, classical fluids then biofluids then heat flow that is heat is uh, flowing from higher level towards the lower level then uh, and current flow uh, like that. So these uh, flow situations when you are working then uh, if it is not a straight surface for example if it is a straight surface then we need to use a finite uh, difference method but if it is not a straight surface then we need to use finite element method. In that finite element method the total area will have to be uh, splitted in terms of the small elements then each element area is to be calculated. To make those elements then we need the help of uh, the length of the diagonal which represents the area particular area of that uh, element which you are going to split from the given total area then the corresponding initial conditions and boundary conditions you are going to apply because that type of physical situation will be explained in terms of the differential equation. Probably you, you will see because in you know, various uh, uh, application problems you will find application problems you will find the magnitude in all the directions and the direction uh, which is represented by means of the diagonal also to be calculated that is to be observed. Okay. In this problem very interesting uh, two results I am going to derive uh, a, a line makes angles with the four diagonals of the Q show that that means a line makes the angles like alpha beta gamma uh, delta with four diagonals uh, four diagonals uh, will make the angle like that then we take one more line to be passing through or to be intersected in those lines in the diagonals then you have to derive these two the results sum of the squares of the cosine trigonometric function is equal to 4 by 3 and sum of the squares of the sine trigonometric functions is equal to 8 by 3. Therefore a line makes I will write the statement like this a line makes the angles alpha beta gamma and then delta with four diagonals of a cube then show that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma plus cos square delta is equal to 4 by 3 and if you convert all these functions in terms of sine function then this must be sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma plus sin square delta is equal to 8 by 3. These two results I will derive according to the diagram where the diagonals will play uh, uh, with the assumed line or a new line which is to be that line intersects all the four diagonals uh, which are possible in that cube. The figure goes like this. this is the d axis and this is y axis okay i consider this as a point p where the possibility of the diagonal i am showing that one 
and uh, the basic uh, condition I claim when it is a cube let me take the common uh, dimension in all the three directions a units this is a and a units this is b and a units with the z axis also when it is a cube means uh, you can imagine that uh, match box so match box uh, in that shape but exactly match box is not a cube but all the directions must be same uh, length that is a units all the uh, directions of this cube which I had written must be with uh, a units as, as the length okay now you have to study for example in this room itself you try to understand the problem very carefully so that uh, the rest of the mathematical work uh, which you can easily make out in this room itself you whether you sit in the classroom or any uh, standard room any normal uh, uh, room which has the corners like okay simply you imagine that in that room how many corners are there and how many diagonals which you can plot how many diagonals which you can draw for example in this room itself I can expect where you are sitting in your room you can just make a comparison uh, about what I am going to trying to convince you right that is the corner and opposite bottom corner otherwise it their bottom corner and this is top corner for example this is the corner their opposite end bottom corner and their top corner and this one is bottom corner like that so that totally how many diagonals are possible you can easily make out four diagonals are possible not more than four from that point to the bottom one diagonal and I will reverse this from this top to the bottom one more diagonal and here this top and to the bottom there opposite side the one diagonal and there it is top and the here it is bottom another diagonal so you can imagine that you can imagine that that means these are four sticks so uh, I have fortunately I have four sticks here right I will show the exact uh, inclination this is one diagonal right and this is another diagonal and this is one diagonal this is another diagonal the problem takes the meaning I am allowing one more line to pass through all these four diagonals that line makes the angles alpha with the first diagonal beta with the second diagonal gamma with the third diagonal and delta with the fourth diagonal if this is the situation then taking the concept of direction cosines and ratio you must prove this result so that uh, you have to represent proper coordinates for all these directions as if a is there you must represent a dash opposite uh, because the diagonal is like this and b this is b dash this is the diagonal and c this is c dash and this is the diagonal therefore four diagonals which and one more that is p uh, diagonal uh, where another line we are going to allow I will continue uh, this one remaining part in my next lecture and if there are any uh, questions you are free to ask thank you